So, we've been tasked with memorizing aldoses and hexoses. So, let's look at aldose and hexose memorization. First of all, you have to remember the following. And it may seem silly at first, but it will help. So, get Raxel and all altruist glue mannequin's gum idealizing gal's talents. Now, this is the order in which you have to memorize these. The G in get is glyceraldehyde, E is erythrose, the T is threos, then in raxel you have ribose, arabinose, xylose, and lysose. Then it's easier to figure out the last ones. All is allose, and altruous is altros. Glue is glucose. Mannequins is mannose. Gum is gulose. Idealizing is idos. Gals is galactose. And talents is talos. So then you will draw the chart on the next slide based on the mnemonic that I just talked about. After that, you will add water, and remember the arrow points to the side where the H goes. So remember when you're building a monosaccharide, you add water as you get bigger and bigger monosaccharides. So start from the bottom and work toward the top. And don't forget that this is an aldehyde, so the CHO is at the top and then the CH2OH is on the bottom. So here is the chart. It may look a little confusing at first, but it will help. So, notice at the top of each section I have where the H goes and where the OH goes, just in case you don't remember. But let's go through it and see how it works. We're going to start by doing just an example with IDOS. So, since we know it's going to have six carbons, let's go ahead and draw our line long enough. There's IDOS. We'll start with glyceraldehyde. Here's our line. Then we'll draw where our first carbon is. And remember, since we're starting with glyceraldehyde, we have the OH on the right and the H on the left. Now, the next one we're going to go to 3OS because that's in the next part to get down to IDOS. So, the H goes on the right and the OH goes on the left. So let's draw our line, put the OH on the left and the H on the right. Then our next step we go toward xylose. Since our arrow points to the left, okay, we put our bar in and the H goes on the left, or the hydrogen goes on the left, and the OH goes on the right, and that's what we do. Then we're aiming for our goal of IDOS, that's right here. So we put our bar in, then add our OH on the left and our H on the right, because our arrow pointed to the right. And then don't forget, you have to put the CHO at the top and you have to put the CH2OH at the bottom and there you have IDOS. Now this is how you work with aldoses and you might be wondering how you work with ketoses. Well ketoses have their names coming from most of most of the time coming from their aldoses. So Glyceraldehyde becomes dihydroxyacetone. It doesn't come from its name, but those are the basic ones, um, and these are the ones they're associated with. Erythrose becomes erythulose. Ribose becomes ribulose. Xylose becomes xylose. Glucose, since it's so common, we know it becomes fructose or fructose. So, to look at an example, Let's look at xylose. Xylose becomes xylose. Notice aldoses become ketoses by making the ketone 
at carbon number two. So if you see carbon number one is where the aldehyde is in xylose, and then in xylose, xylulose is where in carbon number two we make the ketone, and the same pattern follows for uh, any of these that are listed here. I hope that helps.